What we're going to try and do now is work out how to calculate the resistor for an LED, which occurs in pretty well every question paper you're ever going to do. So we've got a simple circuit here, we've got an LED and a resistor, and let's give ourselves a supply voltage, let's say 15 volts. And we know that the data for the LED, it's going to take 2 volts and it's going to take 10 milliamps. So we're going to add that to our diagram. The LED is going to take 2 volts and the current is going to be 10 milliamps. And you should always draw on the diagram. So now we can calculate that the voltage across the resistor is 15 minus 2, which equals 13 volts. And if we take our resistor equation, R equals V divided by I, we know therefore R equals 13 divided by the current in amps, which is 10 times 10 to the minus 3, because it's milliamps, which is equal to, so we need to find our calculator, here it is, and we go 13 divided by, now 10 milliamps in amps is 0.01, and we go equals, and we get 1300 ohms, so that's the value of our resistor that we need. Let's go and see if we can do some examples. So I've drawn three examples on the board here, all taken from past exam papers, so let's just go through them. So the first one, we have a power LED, it's 3.2 volts just there, a 12 volt supply, and therefore the voltage across the resistor is 12 minus 3.2, which is 8.8 .8 volts. The current is 200 milliamps, that's how we know it's a power LED, and therefore R equals the resistor voltage, which is 8.8, .8, divided by 200 milliamps, which is 0.2 amps, which is 88 divided by 2, which is 44 ohms. Notice how in each case it's the voltage across the resistor which goes up into my resistor equation, not the voltage across the LED. The next one's slightly more complex because my LED voltage is only 2 volts, but I've got two of them. So it's 2 volts here, 2 volts here. So that leaves 9 minus 2 is 7, minus another 2 is 5. So we have 5 volts across the resistor. There's 20 milliamps flowing through everything because they're all in series, and therefore for the resistor, the resistor equation becomes R equals 5 divided by 0.02, because 20 milliamps in amps is 0.02 amps, like that. So if we work that out, we get 5 divided by 0.02 is 500 over 2, which is 250 ohms. If you don't believe me, we can just check that. So we do 5 divided by 0.02 equals 250 ohms. Yay! And here's the third example. It's slightly more complex again. It doesn't matter which order my resistor and LEDs are in. So these are 1.4 volts each, but they're in parallel. So they have the same voltage across each of them. So the voltage across my resistor is simply 6 minus 1.4, not 6 minus 2.8, 6 minus 1.4, which is 4.6 volts. And the current through each of my LEDs is 5 milliamps. But all of that current has to go through the resistor. So the current through the resistor is 10 milliamps. And therefore, my resistor equation becomes R equals 4.6 divided by 10 milliamps, which is 0.01 amps, which is 46 over 0.1, which is 460 over 1, so that's 460 ohms. Let's just check that out. 4.6 divided by 0.01, 460 ohms. So, there we go. We've worked out our resistor values by taking the voltage across the resistor each time and the current 
through the resistor each time and using the resistor equation.